Okay, let me just, you know, press ready. How about, yeah, hey, Nick Fu, okay? I'm trying to order food, okay, so I can put it in my stomach so I can be an entertaining streamer, okay? How about you go fucking eat an apple? Figure it out. Leave me alone. What do you think is going to happen to crypto when Biden regulates it? Um... He probably gonna nerf it, his drone. Probably shoot up in price, but how are you gonna regulate the internet? Oh, you, know, you can't even do that. They're talking about real crypto. All right, I guess we'll get started with the guide. We'll get started. We'll get started. Here we go. Platinum to diamond. But I think a lot of people are in platinum. I think that's like the average for a lot of people. Platinum, diamond, things like that. What changes from gold to platinum is like the number one question I get all the time. Uh, at this point, when you're in platinum. Pretty much everyone has an idea of the game. I wouldn't say it's a lot of Smurfs, but I would say more people Smurf in Platinum um, because Platinum is, if you were Masters, you get kicked down to Platinum. So all your friends who come back, they're Masters players, but they're in Platinum. It's people who kind of casually play, but have that skill that they could be either Diamond or they could be Platinum. You kind of get put in those lobbies. You get some good players, right? You get some Diamond players. It's very, it's very common to get some to get some diamond players in, in these in these games. So platinum is the main jump is just the skill level. Platinum is that rank that people understand how to loot fast, they understand how to third party, they understand the map. You know, it, it's all of these things. This game has been out for over 2 years. So now it's like we're coming into the into the, you know, World's Edge which has been out for a little while. It's going to be it's going to be a whole different experience. Um, but with that is if you followed everything in my guide so far, you're going to be just as caught up. You just won't be, if you're still new to the game, you won't be as more as refined in terms of like practice your aim, you know, practice your rotations, things like that. A lot of this game, believe it or not, it's not necessarily all the kills. You know, some you watch these streamers. I tell you guys all the time, you watch the streamers all the time. We go for like 25 kills in a lobby. You don't need that. You literally can climb all the time with three to five kills. Like you, you... You can fight early, get your KP, go to zone. Um, that's the main point of climbing, right? It is like that slow, slow and steady wins the race. Um, try to go for seven. You could definitely try. Uh, but a lot of times if you if you wait to that end game, you can find yourself getting a lot more kills uh, in the end game. Platinum and diamond is where you start to see the shift where people start to play on meta stuff. Um, platinum is still, you'll probably get like half people playing meta and the other half kind of not. Um, what I mean by that is you're probably going to see a little bit more caustics. You're going to see more bloodhounds. Um, you're going to see characters, more Valkyries. It, it's people who kind of try a little bit more, who have a little bit more of an understanding, and who, you'll, who will utilize these abilities. If you're a fragger and you pop off and you kill and you want to do that stuff, you can stick to your, to your aggressive characters, kind of like this roster right here, Octane, Pathfinder, Wraith, Bloodhound. If you feel comfortable in your defensive support player, your Gibraltar is your go-to. Having being a Gibraltar player and ranked, having a support player is just huge in any game that you play. The climatizer. We see one team climatizer. I could definitely go climatizer. Um, no go, I love you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. This team's gonna go here. We're gonna go left side. I wanna fight this team. I know one team's overlook. I don't think anybody's epicenter, which means that the only person that can third party us is overlook. So we can make this fight happen pretty quickly. Um, I'm gonna land on the gondola to see if there's a purple armor or a blue armor. Or a gold armor. We just got late landed on. I don't really know why this team's here. But we have to end this fight pretty quickly. Moving up. Uh, crack one. He's right here. Really low. Now you might have to res. Yep. They're all dead. I'm gonna armor stop here. I'm gonna put a drone. Loot everything we can. The team across. So I'm gonna just loot the middle. So we know that there's two there's two teams. This team has got this guy right here is looking at us. Um so we just need to we just want to avoid it as of right now. We don't want to fight. As of right now, if we fight, we're gonna we know that we're gonna get third party. 
I hear Wraith coming back. Right yeah, we're, we're, in, we're sandwiched between two teams, so what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to uh, make it up the hill. Looking over, still seeing that the squad's over there means we're good. Uh, survey camp, I believe, wasn't looted, but I think he did come from survey camp, or he looted up a little bit, which means that now the rotation, we have to make it all the way to thermal. We're gonna go wide wrap. Survey camp has a crafter. We can make batteries. We can make everything we need. I'm gonna wait for them to take it. Yeah, yeah, we're just, I'm just gonna wait. Let's see if they take it. Oh, they're just waiting for us. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rotate to the right side. Did they miss? I'm gonna use the truck. I'm gonna use the blue bins right here. One's taking it. Crack them. Flesh. He's really low. Flesh. In front of you. North. 120. There's another team right here. Okay. You just be patient. Nice. Come back to me if you can. If you see. Okay. It's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna either play your banners or go for the revive. I'm gonna get my teammate to cover. Make sure he's super safe. I'm gonna pop a res. I'm gonna wait a couple seconds, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop a drone. So we both get it. Okay, that's good. My teammate's still alive. I don't want to go full aggressive because I know these teams. Oh no, I'm getting you. Good, he's good. Oh, we're good. So now both these teams are going to be fighting. Now, you notice how I didn't exactly, like, go straight for the res, right? Because I can always grab their banners. I can always go back into, uh, into survey camp and, 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 uh, craft med kits and, and do all that stuff. It's not really, it's not really that serious, especially zone one and zone two. They don't hurt. You can live. You can always live between zone one and zone two. The tough part about this right now is the team's, like, okay, we're going to go around. We're going to go around. Oh, do you guys have meds for this? I do not have any more heals. I'm dropping you a med kit. Appreciate it. So the reason why we're wrapping around is because there's a team on the high ground. There's a team down below, and I think there's a third team, but I'm not sure. It's information I don't have. And remember what I tell you. Always take the smarter route. Always take the route that's going to keep you alive. And making sure that we get back into the zone over here, it, it's just it's just so much better. All right, so those two teams are still fighting. Call my alt here just because we can get a purple armor. Stay here for a couple seconds. All right, so you see how that squad's fighting right now? There's a squad inside the tunnel. Yep. Coming out right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot the wraith. Three, two, one. Red armor. Back one. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm putting a lot of pressure on this squad. This squad is clearly running, either running from somebody or they want to rotate into us. So the reason we're going right as well is because there, there could be a team in the tunnel. Um, and I don't want to put us in a choke point, right? Like if I go first in the tunnel and there happens to be a team there, then that team just comes and chokes us out and then we just all die together. Again, always choosing that safe route, not the easy, you know, not the easiest route or the most obvious. Uh, don't be afraid to take storm damage. Yeah, good old thermal. But everyone's gonna be flying. Everyone's gonna rotate into us. So looking at that care package, I now know a team since that care package. Right. 42, move up on this rock. Be aggressive. One HP on the, on the caustic, keeping the pressure up. Knock one. So I'm gonna pop a, a cell right behind the car because my teammates are right next to me so I can pop cells. I can be safe, I'm safe, I'm good. So I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get an angle here on the left. See what I see? I'm gonna drop because I think he's right below. All dead. Okay, so fighting that team, when when I went on that truck, I want you to know that it's completely okay to push this truck, even though there's an ash here. My both my teammates were on that truck. It is okay to pop a cell, especially with gold armor. I'm gonna pop a quick cell. So that way, I don't just instantly die and fall over, right? Because even if I die, even if we win that fight, but I go down, the potential for a third party to come in 
and just easily wipe us versus like if I popped a battery and we won the fight, even if I didn't, even, you know, if I didn't do anything, even if we're all low, we're still alive. We know a team is up there. Um, they're gonna have to rotate into us, but they're a Valkyrie player, so they're probably just gonna like fly in the zone. Let's take this donut. Nobody's gonna be on the donut. They're just in this field. So we're gonna take the donut. This team is probably gonna Valk ult out, or they're just gonna walk down. We're gonna watch our backside clear it to make sure that nobody runs up on us. One guy's gonna be on the balloon. See what he's gonna do. Wait, hide real quick. He could land on us. Okay. Looks like a rat. Um, let's go kill him. You go right, I'll go left. Walk up, walk up. Nice scan. I'm going left. I shut the door. I shut the door. Take, take it. Oh no. Yep. I wanted my teammate to kind of get. I wanted my teammate to get the KP. Yeah, grab that red armor. So we killed that that uh, that person together. Make sure you know that person did die. All right, we're gonna ride wide wrap back. We know there was two teams in the field. We know nobody's in this building because if they were, they would have they would have already been shooting at us. Oh, my care package. I got it. 145 on fuse. Good scan. All right, I'm gonna try to take this. I'm taking this rolling. building. I'm taking this building. We want a building, and since it's open, oh, he scanned it. We're good. Extra, there's extra heals here too. Solo landed here. Portal happening. Could be right in front of us somewhere. We see that the portal is being stretched. Right here. Gonna wait for somebody else. Sides peak again. Knock him. He's right here. He should die from the storm, I think. Interesting. So, using that to get a kill, that's really good because now that person is a duo team. So now I know that team behind us is a duo. That team um, is not really much of a threat. I mean, there's still a threat, but it's like, it's good getting one of them out. Can you scan this building? Scan that way. Like, scan this building right here. Okay, we have to wide. Okay, follow me. We're gonna we're gonna wrap this team because we want that spot on the rock, right? We want that spot. He's one HP. The Wraith is one. What the fuck? Yeah, they're both really low. You probably kill both of them. Wait, there was another one on the There's two of them. Yep, we got them. Yep, they should be sitting on that rock. We should be able to move up just a little bit and try to get some angles on them. I knocked one right here. I'm throwing arc stars. I cracked all three of them. I know he's somewhere here. Let's climb the rock if we can. So being aggressive, making sure that we take the high ground. You don't want to sit on the low ground just in case that team comes up. You want to see this team up right, right here. Knocked one. And now this team is just going to have to rotate into us. So I'm going to get a nice little angle on him. All dead. Below. Kind of like, um, there it is. Nice job. Nice job. GG's. Good luck on your solos, Master. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Now, <clears throat> it's understanding the map.
is a prime example. Obviously, hitting your shots. I understand it's hitting your shots, but a lot of people, you guys play with teams, uh, teamworks. I know solo could be difficult, but I controlled uh, I controlled my two randoms, making sure when you have a Kraber, specifically a Kraber, you need to make sure you hit the shots. Even if it was 145, that's still a lot of damage. You don't need to hit those headies. Um, but being able to just walk up, shoot the people, um, and when he went, when he scanned, and I cracked all three with a with with a with an arc star, you absolutely do not let that team reset. Your job is to quickly push in there and kill everything. Right? There's three cracked. There's no way you lose that fight. When you kill that fight, my my immediate immediate action was again position over everything. I then climbed the rock, got the high ground, and what did I do? I looked down and I made sure that like that other team that's on top of the building wasn't running up the hill to third party us, right? Like, I immediately was ready for the next fight because especially in a in a, in a a closed circle like that, you have to be prepared for that third party and that fourth party. That's going to happen in the end game. Now, on top of that, you can obviously listen to, to the sounds. I knew the other two teams were fighting, but they still could, like, stop fighting and then run up to us. Uh, so being aware, again, when you kill... Be aware, jump right for it, uh, the the position, and, and make sure you, you kill them. Hundred on the Valk or seventy. Seventy, nice. Someone's inside. Sixty-nine. So, I believe this zone doesn't hurt that much. Okay, we're gonna get all the kills here. I'm gonna armor swap. We have batteries now. Pretty much everything we need. So, you know, uh, if we look back to my barrels, my barrels aren't popped on the map, which means that nobody. In front of me, in front of me, in front of me. I did a lot. Having a battery. Yep, yep. yep. Two flesh. I'm gonna take the fort. So now we get to walk up. Uh, as of right now, my traps are still not being popped. 23, shield. I'm gonna pull out my prowler just in case he tries to turn on me. Okay, I'm gonna leave him. He's just gone. I'm not going to try to get... So now we go back to our spot. Notice my traps are still here, meaning that most likely somebody hasn't popped those, which means they haven't come to our spot yet. On me. 100 on Ray. Solo Ray? Yep. He's underneath. Underneath the bridge now. Directly below me here. Oh. An arc star is gonna go left. Forty six. An arc star. He's gonna queue. Knock them. I'm gonna go back to our spot for now. So we go back to our spot because as of right now, uh, everyone's gonna be fighting. There's a lot of there's there's three other full squads, but I want to make sure that whatever we do, that they're they're all in front of us. The whole point is to win the game. This game has already been 10, 15 minutes long. There's no point in just throwing and wasting your time. So now with a spot like this, now we can take over. I can set up this building with caustic traps. So now what I'm going to do with the caustic traps is I'm going to throw barrels on the outside so when they do have to jump over the wall, they can potentially jump over the wall and hit one of my traps. Okay, that's still in. This team's gonna have to look right here in the street. Nice knock. 
Right here. Hundred. Uh, push this with me, push this with me right now. Push this, push this, push this. Kill raids. Nice job. Okay. There's someone up there? Is there? I think so. I think I just saw his head. Okay, let's go. My cost at all. Give me that shield. Give me that shield. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Man, nah. You're good. My ult. I was doing really good. This guy's getting shot at right now, getting beamed. I'm gonna drop back, gonna pop my uh, pop my battery real quick. Because so right now we have a lot of people up top. Or a lot of people down below. When we playing that rock, what we're we doing is like I'm gonna look and see what other guns he has. We have more nades, we have more thermites, this is extra extra shit. You know there's a bloodhound still below us, you need to be careful of. There's two down here. Knock one. I'm gonna make sure that this team on my on my ice job. Our job right now is to just make the team really uncomfortable. We're gonna space out. Um, if we have to go into them, don't go too crazy. Now. 130 on the on the valve. Nice job. Another. All right, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm going with you now. We knocked one. We're not gonna get like, this aggression up. I'm gonna put barrels up. Just in case. Okay. We're looking at the other. All dead. Nice job. Nice. Well done. Yeah, one from Max KP, but did you? Oh, I'm so sorry. I wish oh, I knew damn, that. I'm so sorry. All good, all good. I should have called it up. What we've talked about from bronze all the way up. The fact of like, I can't stress it enough of how positioning is over everything. There was, we didn't fight a singular squad for how long? Till like what? There were six squads left? And we, we finished the game with 14 KP. You don't have to go and gun Everyone, you keep saying, I, I, you know, I keep seeing this comment, like, you had a good team. You had a good team. You had a good team. That's every game so far? Every game? Y'all type that? You had a good team? Like, I, like, the thing is, like, I get it. I get it. Like, I, I understand that I'm a professional player. Like, I get that. The purpose of this is to teach you guys how to make the smart decisions, right? Being smart about your decisions that get you to the end game, like that third party, right? My platinum teammates were actually pushed up more for that third party than I was. I was just going to hold that spot, but I was like, you know what? You're right. We should third party that. Why not? It's on the edge of zone. Let's go. We went over there. That was our first, what, 3KP? I think in platinum, a lot of people have the right ideas. They just sometimes, one, they overthink, or two, they, they bite off more than they can chew. I can't stress enough of how much position means everything in this game. That's a thing, too. And in platinum... In, in Platinum and in Diamond, you start to lose a little bit more points to the point where, like, you actually can derank from, like, Plat 1 to, like, Plat 2, Plat 3, and then from D1 down to D2, D3. The thing is, is, like, it's so important. If your randoms want to throw their games, and they want to, like, they want to make a really stupid play, and they want to throw it, let them throw. I Because if I make it to the end with 80, with 80 points, and they get minus 40, all right, I guess I won't see you anymore, because I'll be, I'll be ranking up while you're ranking down, you know? The thing is, too, is I like that. I do take the reins and I coordinate the Platinums, but the thing is, like, Platinum players, what, I was, what I've been trying to explain is a lot of people try to figure out, they're like, I don't, you know, I don't get it. I don't understand. In Platinum, notice how I'm directing my teammates to do certain things, and they're doing it. 
meaning the potential is there and the knowing is there. Like they understand, like y'all understand what to do. But when you, have, when you don't have somebody that's like guiding you, you kind of just like go into the motions and then you get very blaming, like blameful. You start to be like, oh, I'm, I'm losing because when it's like, you could easily, that's what I'm trying to explain to you guys is you could easily get top six every time with two, three KP. You can win a third party fight and just not fight because in platinum, it's not as strict. And in Predator, it's a fucking madhouse. Everybody knows how to play in Predator in Master's Rank where everybody just full sends everything. And everybody like has the third, fourth, fifth party mindset like they're smart. Every player is smart. They're dumb, but you know what I mean? They're smart in terms of like the coherence of like doing those plays. Is he still down there? Yeah, right here. Alright, we can just take this fight nice and slow. Gotta be careful. Closed door here. I gotta figure out which angle that I wanna come at this fight from. Uh, cause it's right now. Valk's by herself on the right side. We need to push her. Send her right now. Send her, send her, send her, send her. He's by herself. Watch your left side. There. Got her. Coming back to you. 100. Nice job. Nice. Well done, GG. Yeah. So you see how that that uh, Valkyrie is completely by herself? We kill her. That's it. Three B three B two scenario instantly, instantly. That's an easy way to do that right there. You are the Apex champions. Is that diamond? Now it's diamond. Now it's diamond. And now I can relax. Yep. I was like, I just need to be aggressive, and just win this. Um, Probably the best case scenario because I'm so sparkly. I'm so sparkly. So diamond already at halfway to diamond three, which is nice. Um, diamond. Oh.